welcome back to lesson 43 of Doodling with Purpose. As we've done for the last 42 weeks, we're going to learn three new hieroglyphics today and how to draw them correctly. And remember, it's definitely important to draw them the way I'm demonstrating because drawing them incorrectly is, you know, kind of like playing the violin or the piano wrong. And you'll learn bad habits, and bad habits are sometimes hard to break. All right, so let's learn some more, but first we are going to do as we always do and review the three glyphs that we learned last week, which ideally you've been practicing all week and are now getting much, much better at. All right, so last week we started off with the vulture, which is a curved line down, hump down, up for the back. Little back feather, second leg, curved neck, beak, eye, and something to stand on. Next, we did the um, Achaia pod, which was three humps down, two up. And then last, we had the heart. Circle, line, two cross. All right, next up, we have the symbol for God, which in ancient Egypt was probably a lot closer to this than something painted in the Renaissance with a long beard. That was really actually just influenced by Zeus and the Greeks, but that's not important right now. So what we're actually talking about is this. This is the Egyptian symbol for divinity. You will see this carried by pharaohs. You will see this in lots of tombs and on inscriptions, simply because it literally translates to the word God or great power or divine being, uh, you know, et cetera, et cetera. It's not a flag. It is not a net. It is not a... Uh, you know, a, a letter. It is it is, is a symbolic object. It's a religious object is what it is. Uh, you know, it's no different, if you will, than kind of a Christian cross or a Judaic Star of David or a um, Muslim crescent moon. And it's pretty simple to draw because it's a stick with, okay, with what looks like a flag on top. But it's not a flag. It's, it's, never, it's, not a, it's never made of cloth. And it's pronounced netter, netter, N-T-R. Netter, which, again, Egyptian word for God. All right, pretty easy. We're going to start with curved line, curved line, connect, and down. Curved line, straight down, curved line, and down. One more time. Curved line, straight down, reverse curve, down. And that's Netter, God. All right, next up, we're going to move from God of Peace to War. Okay, that was a bad transition. We're doing a bowstring because the Egyptians, you know, used bows and arrows. And again, they made hieroglyphics out of what they had and what they knew. So this is the bowstring here in a stella. It's that one in the center there. That's the uh, loop that goes up on both sides. This is what it looks like in a little simplified way. Both sides are a little different, showing the two different loops that would attach to the, uh, the bow. This is the string of the bow, pronounced rupid, rup. All right, so we're gonna do a twist circle, down, make a square, a line, and a circle, top. So we're gonna do our twist, straight down, a little square, a little tail, and a circle. One more time, we're gonna do a twist, line down, square, tail, and a circle. And that's your bowstring, wood. All right, last up for this week, we are going to do an Egyptian star. And Obviously, no, I'm not talking about Elizabeth Taylor. I'm more talking about these stars, you know, the ones that they would look up and see and they use to do all of their measurements and maybe measure the pyramids by. Also, pretty easy to draw. Uh, this is the Egyptian star, and you'll see this quite a lot. It's used decoratively and as a letter in ancient Egyptian hieroglyphs. Here you can see it with a crescent moon above. Sometimes it's drawn with that, sometimes not. We're just going to do the basic star, but obviously if you want to do a crescent moon on top, Pretty easy to do. You just, you know, make, give it a little eyebrow. And this is going to be Saba or Jabba, like Jabba the Hutt. All right, cross, X, line up. Pretty easy, right? X cross and a line up from the middle. Simple as that. An X with a line up. See, you got easy ones to learn this week. And, you know, it'll make up for having to do the vulture last week because that's when it's a little bit more complicated. And, you know, whether or not your brain is full, you should be around here next week because we're going to keep doodling with purpose because we've still got some triple consonants to go in ideograms, and then we'll get into actually speaking the language and learning some vocabulary. 
Hope you've enjoyed this, and please do give it a like and a thumbs up. You know, tell YouTube to share it with more people who are YouTubing for hieroglyphics and how to learn them, because that way they'll learn them from this series. All right. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next week.